Governor Madhu Fintiri of Adamawa State says the new minimum wage is nothing to write home about, especially with the current market reality. The governor spoke at a thank you visit by the organized labor leaders to the government house in Yola. TVC News senior reporter Owola Biadenusi found in this report. The visit by the leadership of the organized labor to the government house Yula is to appreciate Governor Fintiri and also inform him of the receipt of the payment of the first 70,000 Naira minimum wage by its members. The NLC state chairman, Iman of Ashe, who led the organized labor executive, reassured the governor of the workers' commitment to duties. You are the first governor to do so, but you did it with all sincerity. And of course, we were not expecting. Even the leadership were not expecting that you to be the way we got it. To this excellency, we say thank you. In his remark, Governor Fintery thanks the Labour leaders for their support, noting that in the coming days he will be sending a new amendment bill to the State House of Assembly that will incorporate the salaries of Judiciary, Accountant General Office, State Assembly workers, and others for them to benefit from the 70,000 Naira minimum wage by September. When our workers were initially at 18,000, then they graduated to 30,000, most of them, their only more wage was 40 something thousand. They were laughing and clapping and went to the market. Now we cannot adjust their salary because it's tied to a law. So the only way to get them out of that hook is to get the law out of the way. So I will be compiling those laws to send to the House of Assembly for it to be able to get it. So that by the end of September, they will also join us in. Governor Fintiri used the forum to encourage residents to embrace farming. We will continue to improve on areas that will bring relief and support to our workers. Particularly in education, agriculture, health and transport. These are areas that we feel are critical, that can bring palliatives and relief. It is not the palliative of sharing food. Rice that cannot be enough for one family, and we think we are doing much. It's going to create laziness and poverty at the end of the day. Mr. Fintiri restated his administration's commitment to concentrate on policies that will change the lives of residents rather than sharing palliative that will not last for long. 